Hi, my name is Karina Fugit. I'm a registered dietitian and a certified diabetes educator. I'll be doing a mini series on carbohydrate counting and the diabetes diet. Now, the reason so many dietitians really focus on carbohydrate counting is because it's one method of controlling your diabetes through your diet where you can eat anything that you like, you just have to moderate your portion sizes. And of course, eating healthy foods is an important aspect of managing your blood sugars and staying healthy. But as we discuss carb counting, we will try to avoid talking about good foods versus bad foods. So what is a carbohydrate? A carbohydrate is what we call a macronutrient. The foods we eat are made up of three macronutrients, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. For a healthy diet, it is recommended that you get 50% of your calories from carbs, 20% from protein, and 30% from fat. For diabetes, the main macronutrient that affects blood sugars is carbohydrate. When you eat carbohydrates, they break down and they turn into sugar. That sugar gets digested in your intestines, and from there it goes into your bloodstream. When there's sugar in your blood, your pancreas releases insulin, and insulin acts as a kind of key. The key opens up your body cells and to allow sugar from your bloodstream into your body cells. And you use that sugar for energy so that you can walk, talk, think, play, do anything. Now when you have type 2 diabetes, your body either isn't making enough insulin so the sugar stays in your blood, or your body is making enough insulin but you are what's called insulin resistant. And that's when your body cells are kind of, they kind of have a layer of fat around them and that makes it really difficult for the insulin to actually open up your body cells. So because of that, the sugar just stays into your bloodstream and it's not able to enter your cells. That's why we really recommend when you have type 2 diabetes that you lose weight if that's needed and that you also moderate your carbohydrates so you don't get so much sugar in your blood in the first place. Now, foods that have carbohydrates include breads, grains like rice, starches including beans and pasta, starchy vegetables like corn, peas, potatoes, winter squash, milk and yogurt, fruit and fruit juices, and of course, desserts and sweets. Now, if a food doesn't have at least five grams of carbohydrate, we don't count it as a carb. So, for example, if we're looking at ranch dressing, you look at the label uh, and it's two tablespoons for a serving and it has two grams of carbohydrate. So since it's less than five, we don't count this as a carb, it's really more of a fat. Protein foods include meat, chicken, fish, eggs, cheese, cottage cheese, nuts, peanut butter, and soy and tofu. And fats include butter, oil, mayonnaise, and Miracle Whip, and salad dressing. The last group of non-carbohydrate foods is non-starchy vegetables. And this basically includes any vegetable except for your starchy vegetables, which are corn, peas, potatoes, and winter squash. And these are going to be free as long as you don't eat more than three cups raw or one and a half cups cooked vegetables at the same time. There are two ways to count carbohydrates. The first way is to count actual grams of carbohydrates. Now this is more accurate, but it's also going to be more labor intensive and more time intensive. So it's good for people who like to crunch numbers, but most people prefer the second method, which is carb counting. And that's where we count every 15 grams of carbohydrate is counted as one carb choice. So that, an example of that would be a slice of bread, a small apple that's about the size of a tennis ball, or a, an eight ounce glass of milk. Now we'll discuss serving sizes a lot more in our next video. For our purposes, we'll work with using an 1800 calorie diet. As you can see, this diet shows that you get about 15 carb choices per day. If you divide this out into three meals a day, that is five carb choices per meal or 75 grams of carbohydrate per meal. Now I know a lot of you have probably heard that when you have diabetes, you should be eating six small meals a day. This is something that I really recommend that you talk to your doctor or a registered dietitian about because everybody's eating preferences are different. Since I work with a lot of individuals who are lucky to get two or three meals in every day, then I just recommend eating three times a day. And if you, um, if you can't get all five of your carb choices in for each meal, then, then you save those up for a snack, but you can't save them up for your next meal. That would be called banking carbs. 
and uh, that will mess up your blood sugars throughout the entire day. An important aspect of carb counting is knowing how to read a food label. If you're new to reading labels, I'll try to keep this really simple. Take for example this box of frozen pizza. If we look at the serving size, it tells us that it's one-sixth of the pizza and the total carbohydrates is 39 grams. Now if we know that every 15 grams of carbohydrate is one carb choice, how many carb choices does one serving of pizza have? It has approximately two and a half carb choices. Can you eat this for dinner? Well sure, you get five carb choices. So how many slices can you have without going over your five carb choices? You could have two slices of pizza. Now here's another label. This is a low fat strawberry yogurt and I'll give you a few seconds to figure out how many carb choices is in a serving. Now since a serving has 33 grams of carbohydrate, this is going to have two carb choices. You can do this with any food label and to find out how many carbs it has. This completes our overview of carbohydrate counting. If you're new to diabetes, I highly recommend that you go to diabetes classes and try to find out where they offer those in your area. Usually your doctor will know and they offer them at many hospitals. Our next segment is going to be entitled Serving Sizes and that's where we'll talk about how many carb choices are in uh, various types of food. So we'll see you then. Thanks.